what I hear, especially the examples you're giving for an ownership parent is somebody who is, uh, you know, maybe a little bit on the narcissistic side as a parent They they want to, they want to like live vicariously through their child. Right. And so there's a, there's a desire to imprint them not out of real knowledge of the individual child, but really out of selfishness, um, yes. the child yeah. that the parent has. There's a third category, and this is what we talk about a lot of family teams that is almost entirely missing culturally today. Um, but I see it so strong biblically, which was that there used to be a family identity, right? There was a, a sense of who we are as a family. And so as a yeah. parent, I'm not, I don't own you, but right. I, it's not my individual identity versus your individual identity. It's the fact yeah. that you come from somewhere. Our family didn't just e e erupt, you know, out of nothing. Like, um, we, uh, there's been a lot that has been, that it will be poured into you and a lot that, that, you know, uh, through God's grace, we would love to see you, you continue to carry on now that yeah. most people don't have that at all. Like they, they don't hand they, that to their children. They've yeah. lost any contact with their root structure. And I can't yeah. help but wonder if the identity crisis that we are experiencing across the entire culture, not just in the Christian world is maybe mostly rooted in a lack of family identity. I'm curious what your yeah. thoughts are about oh, that. Jeremy, I think you, I think that you really are onto something there. One of the things we talk about with the problems of modern identity is just, it's like American individualism on steroids, because what yes. we do is we tell every kid, you are unique, you are special, dig deep into your feelings, go out into the world and demand acceptance and affirmation. Every single person is individually on this voyage of self-discovery and self-realization. And what it ends up creating is, uh, I think, a lot of self-involved, self-focused, self-referential individuals, because we're all on this quest towards, you know, being the best we that we can be, to the detriment of, like you said, any sense of collective family identity or a collective family structure that we belong to, that my actions impact somebody else. Uh, I don't really care if my actions impact somebody else in today's culture. And I do think that, ironically, that is not unifying us. It's actually dividing us more than ever. We've told everybody, go be whatever you can be. And we have thought that the product would be everybody would be happy and living their authentic selves. But we've actually seen the exact opposite. And so I think you're absolutely right. If we can emphasize that collective family identity a couple of degrees more, I think that would have a significant impact. And again, that's where I think the local church in the the metaphor of a family of God becomes such a rich metaphor for us to utilize in our own parenting and in the identity formation process for children.